Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Small Talk Kagoshima. Uh, on this podcast, we talk about all things Japan and Kagoshima, but in English.、Mm-hmm. My name is Michi, and this is my co host. Hi, I'm Natsuki. And today we're going to talk about random things. Random things. But first, let's talk about exciting news that happened in my life. What's up?、Uh, what's up? What's up? <laughs> I went to Tokyo Disney Sea the other day. Yeah, 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 I'm supposed to say that's great. <laughs> ね、What do you、no. mean I'm supposed to say? <laughs> no, 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 because I was going to speak in Japanese. That's great. Remember, English. English, English, English. English, English, English. English, English Now, Natsuki, English. You're, you're obviously from Japan,、mm-hmm. but you can speak English. Uh, yes. So、mm-hmm. you're going to speak English on this show, hopefully. Okay, okay,、uh, hopefully.、Uh, I'm not from Japan. I'm from Las Vegas,、mm-hmm. but my mom is from Japan.、Mm-hmm. And I've been living in Kagoshima for 12 years. 12 years.、Mm-hmm. So, but I'm going to do my best to speak all in English. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, we're talking about. You're going to、to- do all your best in English. I'm going to、okay. do my best. Okay. But anyway,、uh, we want to talk about Tokyo Disney Sea because I just went there. <laughs> for the second time in my life,、uh-huh. I went to Tokyo Disney Sea. How was it? How was it? How was the weather? First of all, the、uh-huh. weather was perfect. And during, even during the two seasons, I mean, rainy season. Even, okay, so、uh, I went to Tokyo on, I think, Saturday morning. Uh huh. So then all day Saturday was complete rain. Okay. It was just horrible. Uh huh. But then on Sunday, when we went to Tokyo Disney Sea,、mm-hmm. on Sunday it was blue skies,、He- no clouds. No clouds. In fact, I had to wear sunscreen.、Oh. It was perfect. Oh,、uh, you wear sunscreen. That's why you didn't get sunburn. Yes, I wore a lot of SPF 50. Okay, that's enough. Yeah,、that's、yeah. So I, I wore a lot of sunscreen and、mm-hmm. so I didn't get burned, but it was so. So, good, nice weather. And then the other thing that was really amazing was that there w a s so many people there. So many people. Oh, how, very crowded. Yeah, like, okay, so you know how you, you've been to Tokyo Disney Sea before, right? Right. So, when you first get there, you ride the monorail. Right, 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 right. So, we,、mm-hmm. we went to the train station and then、mm-hmm. took the monorail in.、Mm-hmm. And the first stop is like Disneyland. Okay. And then the monorail continues and you go to, I think, some resort. And then the last stop is Tokyo Disney Sea. Okay.、Mm-hmm. But we could see the line because we got there like right at the opening,、uh-huh. like right when it opened. Like eight o'clock? In the、uh, morning? We got there like 7 50 a.m.、Uh, what time do they open? I think they open at 8 a.m.、Uh, I think so. Okay. So we got there and then like I looked out the window、uh-huh. at, the, at the entrance to Tokyo、uh-huh. Disneyland. Wow. Whoa, yo, bo- Look how many people.、Oh, that is so many people. So many people. It's just like they look、it's、like. It's not even summer vacation. No. no. It's before the summer vacation. I think the reason why there are so many people there is because it's right before, it's kind of still before、uh-huh. the rainy season in、uh-huh. Tokyo.、Uh-huh. And it's like the, it was. Probably like the last sunny Sunday.、Uh, so then all of the families are like, let's go to Disneyland.、Uh, now is the time to、right. go to Disneyland. It was crazy. There、uh, were so many people there.、Yeah, always so many people in Disney Sea and Disney World. And, I mean, Disneyland. And then another thing was,、uh-huh. is like, I didn't, okay, I guess because until now, I never really noticed this because I didn't, I never went to, I forgot the, the, the place where Ariel's area. Uh, Ariel's playground or something, something like, like that. that. It's like、uh, under the tur- sea. Tur- yeah, under the sea. Something like that. Yeah, I, get, I, I never actually been there before, but、uh-huh. I went there、uh, this last time I went, and I was so shocked by how many. Look how many strollers、uh, are parked yeah, in this area. Because this area, you know, there is a lot of, you know, play, it's like a play room for yeah, little kids. I know that.、Uh, That's why I've never been there before.、Okay. But I just looked at the sea so of. Why did you go to this time? You had a baby? No. <laughs> the, the person I was with wanted to see Ariel's show、uh, okay. in the sky. Okay, who went with? <laughs> the person I went with wanted to see Ariel's show in the sky, so、uh. we, we watched that. But I was just so surprised at how many. You guys say in Japanese, baby car. <laughs>、uh, baby, baby car.、Yeah, uh. It's not, we say stroller. 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 Baby、uh, stroller? Or you just... can say baby stroller or just stroller. Stroller.、Mm. It might have a different word in English, English, but in American English, it's stroller. Okay. So I was just surprised at how many strollers there were.、Huh. There's so many.、Huh. And all these children everywhere and families.、Huh. And I, for the first time, were looking at the parents、mm-hmm. and thinking, wow, you guys have it so hard、mm. because they're trying to, 
you know amuse their children, children right mm-hmm. but it's really hard and it's also kind of hot uh-huh. and like you have all these like papas and they have like the babies like uh, the, what is this thing called the baby backpack thing i don't know but you know the famous brand is now we call ergo yeah uh, and it's like the baby on the front uh-huh. and the the dads just look so tired because uh-huh. they're probably like salary men uh-huh. in tokyo uh-huh. and they're like working really hard and uh-huh. finally they get their day off on uh-huh. sunday and they're like they get, they get the baby strapped uh-huh. to them they're like <sighs> <laughs> so I just felt really bad for all the dads. Uh, they will, once they brought, you know, the Ariel's playground, yeah. they can just release their children. So, so, so. They can, then, of course, you know, I watch on them, but, you know, uh, still, they can they just go rest. free. Yeah. yeah, free. So mm-hmm. I just, it was the first time that I, I, I just never really noticed that before. Uh-huh. I think it's because I'm getting older. So uh-huh. I was looking at the dads and I was like, oh, poor dads. <laughs> so are you ready to be a dad? What's with the questions today? <laughs> You know, I just, you know, you were talking about baby things, so I, I just, you know, wondering. Tokyo Disney Sea was a mm-hmm. lot of fun, Natsuki. Thank okay. you for asking uh, those questions. Any any other rides that did you enjoy with? Uh, I went on the Tower of Terror. Mm-hmm. I went oh, on... That was my favorite. That was really good. Uh-huh. I went on... Oh, I went on Toy Story for the first time. Oh, you know, shooting scenes. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. That was so much fun. Uh-huh. But your arm gets really tired. Did you get good score? I got the high score. You know, that you sit two people uh-huh. in the car, and I got the higher score. Just barely. Just uh-huh. barely. What else? Oh, Center of the Earth. A center of the Earth. That was really good. Uh-huh. And then I went to see Turtle Talk. Turtle Talk. Now, this was so funny. I have a story, okay? Okay. Turtle Talk is where they put the microphone out. To the customer. To, I'm customer? To guess? the audience. And audience. Guess. Audience. And then Rush from Nemo. He's mm-hmm. like the surfer turtle. Mm-hmm. He's like, whoa, dude. He answers your questions mm-hmm. live mm-hmm. on screen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been there before. So, like, the kids ask him, like... Like, uh, what, what kind of food do you eat? Uh, cute question. Yeah? Right. Uh. And then this one girl, she's like in her 20s. Okay. She keeps putting her hand up like this. She's like, mm-hmm. I, she's like I have a question. I have a question. Okay. And like, they, like the guy with the microphone was kind of like, he was kind of like, I don't know if I should give uh, this girl. Yeah, yeah. But, but she was disper- disparate. Yeah. She was like, uh, I want to talk. Uh, and so uh. they brought the microphone to her last. And she was like. I'll say it in English, but okay. she said this in Japanese. She okay. said, she says, Rush, until now, all of the boyfriends I've had have cheated on me. <laughs> what should I do? <laughs> and I'm looking at this Disney turtle on a screen. And, what and there's the like families said. and kids everywhere. <laughs> and we're like, are you serious? Yeah, that's an awkward question. <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> and I was just like, okay, well, what's going to happen? But Rush uh-huh. was so good. Uh-huh. His name is, Josh is telling us his name is Crush. <laughs> okay, Crush. Sorry, Crush. <laughs> a little Rush. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> crush. Uh, I'm not really good at this Disney stuff, okay. but anyway, Crush. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was really good. He mm-hmm. asked her, like, like if it was me, I probably would have laughed. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> like, why are you asking me this, uh, 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 crazy uh. girl? But he said, like, very kindly, mm-hmm. he said, uh, are you with the guy who's cheating on you now. And she says, no, mm-hmm. we broke up. And then Crush says, well, I think from this point forward, you'll find a better guy mm-hmm. and things will be brighter for you, so don't worry. And then at the end, he says, he says, uh, he said, 100年以上生きてる僕はこういうアドバイスがありますよ. Mm-hmm. Which means like, I've lived over 100 years and I have this advice for you. Mm-hmm. He says, Gumbare. <laughs> Let's just like do your best. That's it. That's it. <laughs> and then like everybody's just laughing, including the girl. And the girl, when she asked the question, she's kind of like crying. Uh, oh, she was serious yeah, about that. Serious. Like, uh, like I don't want to go into it, but uh, she's just she, she had a hard time, okay. and she needed to ask Crush uh-huh. for advice. And uh-huh. so Crush told her Gumbare, which means do your best. Uh-huh. And everybody laughed, and that was the end of it. So it was my first time ever going to Turtle Talk, yeah. and I think I'll go again next time. It was fun. Yeah. I wonder, you know, how it happens. You know, I mean, behind the screen, there is a guy and who is listening to, you know, uh, audience questions. Natsuki, it's really Crush. It's really him. Oh, sorry. It's Crush. <laughs> <laughs> it's Crush. No, I, I actually, so I got I got really curious as to mm-hmm. how that whole system works. Yeah. I'm such a bad guy. Like, uh-huh. afterwards, I'm, like, looking it up on Google. Uh, like, how, how does this work? Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
I'll tell you later. Uh, okay. <laughs> and then, you know, is there any you know crush things in California too? Like so, I'm... I think the original attraction came from Euro Disney, and it was Stitch. Euro Disney. Ah, oh, Stitch. Yeah. So I don't know. They, I mean, they might have similar attractions around the world, but oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Oh. We'll look into it anyway. Okay. All right, guys, now it's time for the News Talk Corner. In this corner, we take a news uh, topic from Japan, usually from Japan, and we talk about it. Remember, if you guys have a question or a comment or you just want to suggest a news story for us, leave us a comment below. So this week's news topic comes from the Japan Times, and it's called Susaki Mascot Chitan Runs Afoul of Twitter Social Media Rules. Okay. <laughs> Natsuki, do you know about this? Yes, I've read the article before I come here, and I laughed so much. Yeah, I watched the YouTube, and have you ever seen Chitan's, you know, YouTube? He's got all these videos on YouTube and on Twitter, right? Uh -huh. So for for those of you that don't know this story, Chitan is an unofficial mascot, and the official mascot of the it's called Susaki in Kochi Prefecture. Mm -hmm. The official mascot's name is Shinjo-kun. Shinjo-kun, mm -hmm. and he's an otter. Mm -hmm. Why do you say that in Japanese? Uh, kawa kawa uso. So, kawa uso. Mm -hmm. so there's it's a it's an otter, mm -hmm. and the real mascot is a really cute otter, and you know he's totally normal. <laughs> mm -hmm. But then some guy mm -hmm. like decided to make his own. Mascot, mm -hmm. yeah, Yuru Kara. Mm -hmm. It's called a Yuru Kara in Japanese. Mm -hmm. It's a like a city mascot mm -hmm. called Chitan. Mm -hmm. And Chitan is like a bad boy version of the it's real. A girl. Is it a girl? Mm, I thought it's a girl. I'm not sure. But this became mm -hmm. like uh, worldwide famous when uh, uh, last week tonight, last weekend tonight with John Oliver. Last week tonight with John Oliver aired a 15 minute story about this mm -hmm. and it's on YouTube. I think it's got, you know, tens of millions of views. Mm -hmm. And like, if you ever look at Cheetan's Twitter feed, it's <laughs> so funny. That's so funny. She's like, how do you say how in English? It's, it's so mixed Screw up. up. Mixed up. It's so mixed up. Like, uh, like Cheetan does a lot of really violent things. Uh -huh. Like he beats pe like things up and like makes, he's just, he's kind of like a bad boy. Yeah, he or she, I can, I I don't know, but he break broke the tr truck. Have you ever seen that? <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so he does all these bad uh -huh. things. But the thing is, is that because he's he's kind of edgy, uh -huh. uh, the he's got all these Twitter followers. Mm -hmm. So he's super popular. And like, mm -hmm. honestly, so we have what? What is Kagoshima's Yuru Kara? The no, 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 no. I know, I know. Oh, wait, give me a second. I'll think of it. Guribu. Guribu. That's mm. it. So Guribu is it's a, a boy. Actually, it's a boy, and he's a he's a combination between like a plant and like a pig. And I'm gonna, uh, I just want to say that Kagoshima's mascot is really bad. Like I <laughs> do not think it's a good did, mascot. Did you know that you know Gribu has you know bride and family? Like she, he has like five of kids. Five kids, gonna. You know, I'm telling you, I just, look. The number one mascot, maybe Chitan is now number one, but before the number one mascot was uh, Kumamo, ko, ah, ko, ko, Kumamo, Kumamo. Kumamo. Mm, from Kumamoto. Yeah, he is worth over a billion dollars. Mm. His brand is crazy, mm. like really good. Mm, 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 and mm. I think part of it is because he's just kind of a weird character. Mm -hmm. But you look at Guribu and you're like, what are you? Like, <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, and then... You know, inside of Gribu, you can find Sakurajima. Probably his nose shaped like Sakurajima, isn't it? No? See? Oh, wow. Uh -huh. okay. And then he has, you know, green things, probably like tea leaves. So he's like basically mixed up of everything Kagoshima famous things. Who decides like Yuru Kara? Is it like prefecture uh, people? No, no, there's a competition. Ah, uh, uh, before there, Nanka. Ha Decide, ne? Yeah, uh, there was a competition. Yeah. But maybe prefecture people. I don't know. Like, I, I'm not going to keep saying. But and anyway. <laughs> Isa King, do you know? So Isa King is actually mm -hmm. made by uh, my friend. A quantize. Yeah, dress they, makers. they created Isa King. I really like Isa King because Isa King looks like he's from a, like a playing card. Trump uh, uh, from a playing uh, card. Uh, so he uh, looks really cool. Uh -huh. City of Isa. Ne? Isa. Uh -huh. So that's cool, but. Anyway, I don't want to keep talking about okay, Gudebu. Let's okay, talk okay. about Cheetah. Mm -hmm. So Cheetah, yeah, <laughs> he's so funny. What do you think about Cheetah? Because he's a 
He's an unofficial mascot. Uh-huh. He's not the real city's mascot. Right. He's just some guy uh-huh. who made a really good suit uh-huh. and then made a Twitter account and dis- does kind of bad things. And that's, you know, because he's not official, he can do, I mean, cheat and do whatever he she the show. She wants that. Kind of, is Cheetah a girl? It's Cheetah a girl. It's a girl? Mm-hmm. Girl? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Cheetah go like crazy things and that's funny. Uh, you know, if you're at home, just Google Cheetah and go to his, tw- her Twitter feed. She, she, it's so funny. It's gone. Ah, she got suspended. Right. Right. This is a oh, news yeah. about. Oh. This is a news about. <laughs> oh. She's, yeah, she's, that's what a news is about. So she's no longer on Twitter. No, 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 no. Because she over went crazy. Uh, she did. She went, she she went did. over the line. Over the line. That's why, you know, everything is not prohibited. But it says Cheetons fans have vigorously jumped to defend the otter. A petition on change.org titled Bring Cheetah Back to Twitter <laughs> gained some traction. That's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, I support Cheetan. <laughs> <laughs> and many, you know, c- uh, I mean, TV personalities like, you know, that's like, you know, London Boots and Atsushi, you know, I don't uh, know, I don't the, know. the famous TV personality. Uh, uh, he's a comedian. Yeah. Support Cheetan, I guess. <laughs> all I want to, all I'm saying is that I think Cheetan is like, okay, what was the name of the. There was like a yellow suit one that's like, was unofficial, but they became. Funashi. Ah, Funashi is one of my favorite. I okay. Have, uh-huh. Funashi is so weird. Yeah. And you know what? Funashi is now, he has a band. And then, you know, he's doing the world tour. That's, I guess. Come on, Japan. What are you doing to me? <laughs> what are you doing to me? I news Funashi has a rock band and he's now Funashi doing Funashi has a rock band. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We don't need this. Japan, we don't need this. What are we doing? <laughs> Funashi band. <laughs> Yeah, but you know what? Funashi is actually, he's kind of like, he's super energetic, so mm-hmm. I can understand. Mm-hmm. So Josh is bringing him up here, and he's got some Funashi, Funashi songs. Funashi is also, you know, an official mascot. Yeah, but then he mm-hmm. became official, right? Uh, really? Or just became a celebrity, I'm not sure. Yeah, he he's just became a celebrity. Mm-hmm. He's still unofficial, yeah. but he's so famous. Yeah, he's got goods. Actually, you know, an official mascot is, you know, they can do whatever they want because once they got the official, you know, there are a lot of, you know, things rules. that yeah, rules that they can't do. So, yeah, maybe better to be unofficial. <laughs> free, much more free. I I'm just going to say this. Cheetan, I'm a fan. I like it. I, I, I like, like you it too. I like I you like too. just how just some guy that that was living in Susaki decided, let's bring attention to my city. Uh-huh. Made himself a suit. Oh, but- and then got super popular on Twitter. That's and now he's banned from Twitter. Hmm. That's great. That's, That's a great smart. story. And then if you know, he's doing that on purpose, I think he's very smart. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think so? <laughs> I do, I do. <laughs> All right, that's been the news quarter. <laughs> <laughs> with Cheetah on this time. <laughs> All right, guys, now it's time for the audience question. In this segment, you guys send us your question for me and Natsuki to answer, and we try to answer it, okay? Usually, we, we want to talk about topics about Japan or things related to Kagoshima or, you know, things like that. But really, anything is okay. Mm-hmm. So let's go to this week's question. My name is Natsumi, and I'm a student in Joho High School. I'm in a debate club and we're talking about overtime work. Mm. So my question is, do you think Japanese people should work less? Now, first of all, overtime work in Japanese was zengyo. Zangyo. 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 Mm-hmm. So overtime work. Let me first start by talking about like how we do overtime usually in America. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's like, from my understanding, there's like two kinds of jobs in America. There's like your hourly work Mm -hmm. where you punch a clock and you, 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 you know, clock in, clock out. And then Mm -hmm. they give you the time, Mm -hmm. the money for each hour. Mm -hmm. The other one is like a salary position Mm -hmm. where Mm -hmm. you just get a set amount of money every month, Mm -hmm. but it doesn't matter how many hours you work. Mm. So in the case where you get paid hourly, Generally speaking, if you work more than eight hours in one one day or more than 40 hours in a week, this is kind of what I remember. This has been 12 years since I've lived in America, so don't quote me. But usually it's like for every hour after eight hours or after 40 hours, it's like 1.5 times pay. Mm, mm. Do you understand? I so, understand. So you get paid more per hour. But I think what Natsumi was asking was not so much about 
pay, but more about just people's time. And then also, you know, like in this case, she's talking about the you know the way of working is like you know salary things. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Punch time and punch mm. time. Do you understand what I mean? So like not counted time. Not it's, counted it's the time. salary. Yeah. But still, like I'm, you know, I I work as a salary man, and you know I. You know, get salary every month, and you know, but still, I have time. I don't punch. Uh, I do <laughs> on the computer, though. But anyway, um, you know, I start working from nine o'clock, and I supposed to finish working till five thirty. Yeah. But you know, many people don't really. Don't really follow follow the rules. Yeah, we keep working after like. 6.30 or 7.30 sometimes if, if it's really get rage why do you do that what's the reason for that one reason is you know we cannot finish working until 5.30 and second thing is we not care about time that's the problem do you understand what I mean Oh, so it's just normal to stay long times at work. You just you just think, oh, I'm going to be at work until later. Right, right. And then, you know, after 10 o'clock, 10 p.m., yeah. we'll get, you know, extra, like, money. Do you understand yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, Overtime pay. Overtime pay. But until 10 o'clock, uh, it's, like, our time. You, like, up. volunteer. You, like, volunteer. And so, what the important thing is, you know... We should care about we need to finish working until 5.30, you know, efficient. Being efficient. Yeah, being efficient. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, I think that there's, okay, let's, let's look at how the Europeans look at this. Mm -hmm. Like, especially if you go to Germany, for example. Mm -hmm. Europeans really enjoy having vacation time. Mm. And like three months. To yeah, like, oh. I don't know about three months, but mm -hmm. they do have a lot of vacation time mm -hmm. uh, compared to Japanese and compared to even Americans. Mm -hmm. uh, Americans, Japanese, and South Koreans, mm -hmm. don't quote me on that, but I think those are the three top working countries, maybe, in mm -hmm. terms of hours. Mm -hmm. But what... I think that you're trying to say, and I agree with, is that even though you're working a lot of hours, are you getting a lot of things done? Right. And I know the Germans are super efficient. Mm -hmm. They get things done very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. And so do Japanese. Mm -hmm. But I feel like there's other pressures in the office in Japan. For example, all the workers should come before the boss. Oh, uh, it happens. Yeah. And then all the workers should stay until the boss leaves mm -hmm. and then they go home after. So from the boss's perspective, it looks like those employees are working really hard, really long, mm -hmm. even if they don't need to be there. Mm. So they just stay there until, you know, their boss is raving, right? Right. Right. They're showing that they're like they're pretending they're working, but they're not. Right. Mm. So that's one thing, and that's kind of cultural, right? Mm. Like, it's weird. I mean, even even maybe you, Natsuki, who I think that you have a very, you know, modern look on life. Mm -hmm. But I think even you, like, if you saw, like, a junior worker mm -hmm. come in after you and leave before you, you might feel naturally like, Yaruki ga nai yo ne kono hito. Like, they don't, they're not trying their best. What in my case, yeah, in your case, in my case, it doesn't happen because because my company is kind of like you know do whatever you want style. So you know if like as long as you're doing your job, that's fine. You can live whenever you want, and we call flex time. Uh, maybe in English flex flexi time or something like that. Yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We saying. we say flex time though. So you know, but when I start working, like. Now I'm 36, so 22, so 14 years ago. Yeah. yeah, that you know, custom it was still you know exist in my company too. Uh, like before, come before the boss come, and then they leave after the boss leave. Yeah, so and that's it's changing. I mean, in some situations, like that's hard to change. But like, if you have a job that your your responsibility is just to produce something, mm -hmm. and like time is not important, then I think you should do it as quickly as possible and go home. 
Right, exactly. So you need to think about, you know, not time, but efficient. efficiency. Mm-hmm. Right? Efficiency, right? But one thing that I really want to point out about the、uh, overtime、mm-hmm. in Japan is that it's actually, I think, bad for the economy.、Mm-hmm. And here's why、mm-hmm. if you're sitting in, a, in an office and working inefficiently, so you're just kind of wasting time、mm-hmm. waiting for your boss to go、mm-hmm. home. You're not outside spending money. Mm, 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 mm. So I actually think that the overtime system, in most cases, has a negative effect on the country. Mm, mm. I think working efficiently and going out and, and adding to the economy, buying things, going to see a movie, that kind of stuff,、mm-hmm. I think is、uh, better. For everyone.、Mm-hmm. And then also, you know, it's changing. Japan has been changing. And have you ever heard the word hataraki kata kaikaku? It's like way of working. Yeah, promote work style reforms. Okay, promote work style reform. Okay. Yeah, so like, you know,、uh, company encourage, you know, employees to go home earlier. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. What is it called? Karoshi? Ah,、uh, yeah, too much working and die. Yeah, that's、uh-huh. like, that's only a Japanese word from what I understand.、Mm-hmm. So, karoshi is a really interesting word and it's only in Japanese. And, I, and honestly, I think it's because. Really, Japanese people just do, they work really hard. They、mm-hmm. do.、They're, they they are passionate about their job. They're very serious. And, and, I, and I really like that about、mm-hmm. Japan. But I think that there should be a good balance between you know, work and some private time、mm-hmm. to relax. And、uh, yeah, and y- what you're saying is totally you know, right. And then, but you know, think about other things. You know, if you care about time and if you do not finish your job, that's a problem too. Yeah. So, you know, To answer Natsumi's question, what I think about overtime working, not good. We should finish work in, you know, in your you know, time.、Yeah. But if you, know, if you keep your, your time and if you can't finish your work, that's irresponsible. So you need to really think about f i n i s h work in time. And also, I think that in the future, more and more women、mm-hmm. are joining the workforce. And so it's taking pressure off. Because you know, there's, there's a labor so- shortage in Japan. There's not enough workers.、Mm-hmm. So I think immigration, people coming into the country, and then also more and more women being career women, I think is helping to take the pressure off of having so much overtime.、Mm. I hope anyway. Yeah, what's good about my company is now we start working, you know, working at home style. Do you、oh, understand what I mean? What is it we called? Can, we can,、uh, we remote, call remote, remote、yeah. work. We can bring our、uh, PC, pass a,、uh, PC, PC? PC, PC to the home, and we can finish. At the work. So, if you have like children, or like, you know, if you need to take care of your parents, or you, you know what、It、I mean? It gives you that flexibility to、exactly. choose where you yeah, are. Yeah, flexibility. That's,、cool. That's really cool.、Mm-hmm. Well,、um, that was a really, really good question. And、mm-hmm. I think it's, a, it's something for us all to think about going forward because. You know, it's not just about working,、mm-hmm. it's also about your health and your、right. family and things like that, too.、So. Life work balance.、ね、yeah, it's really、mm-hmm. important. All、mm-hmm. right. Thank you very much, Natsumi, for that question from Joho Koko. Your English is really good. They have a really good English program.、Mm-hmm. All right, for you guys at home, if you guys want to ask us a question, you guys can write us at, on Twitter at Kago Talk. You can just write us out a question and we'll read it on the air. Make sure you include your name、uh, and we'll talk about it. Or if you guys want to send us a video of you guys、uh, asking us a question, you can send that to us on our Facebook page, which is Small Talk Kagoshima. Check us out on Facebook. All right, guys, next up, it's going to be Show and Tell Japan. In this corner, you guys show and tell us about your favorite piece of Japan. Today, we have a little bit of a unique submission. It's actually photos that a US, I believe, sailor took in the 1970s、mm-hmm. of Tokyo. So they're, they're, they're、mm-hmm. very much so like Showa、mm-hmm. era、mm-hmm. photos. 30 years ago.、So、they're more than 30 years more ago. More than 50 30 years ago. 50 years. 1970s, right? 1970s, so 50 years ago. Oh, now we're in tw- 2020. <laughs> So, this week's uh, uh, submission is going to be a little bit unique. It's about a S- US Navy sailor who took a bunch of pictures of、uh, 1970s Tokyo.、Mm-hmm. So, let's have ourselves a look. Okay. He- Nuski, when you see this kind of like that katakana font,、uh-huh. like, what do you think about? Is it nostalgia English? Nostalgia. Nostalgia. So you, that's, that's the、uh, noun. The、uh, adjective is called nostalgic. Nostalgic. Nos- nostalgic. So nostalgic. Like when, yeah, so when you say like, it's like that's, that's so nostalgic. That's so nostalgic. Yeah.、Mm. 
When I see well, that's, it looks so cool. Yeah, when I see this kind of stuff from Japan, mm-hmm. I I think Showa was probably my favorite era of mm-hmm, Japan. Mm-hmm. I mean, like you've got all the fun of the bubble. Mm-hmm. You've got like okay, so here this is going to sound really weird, but girls in the Showa period mm-hmm. went to the beach. They had fun. Mm-hmm. They wore red. Mm-hmm. They were like women. Ah, you mean the 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 ladies from Bubble Ella? Yeah. Ah. They had the, what is it called? Body con. Body con, ne? Um, for bo- body conscious, it's like the skin tight uh-huh. dresses. Uh-huh. They were women. Uh-huh. Now, today's girls, they are like, <laughs> I don't want to go in the uh, sun. Uh-huh. I want to wear really baggy clothing. I don't want to look cute or pretty. It's like so strange. So you mean like, you know, third, uh, 30 something years ago 40 women, something years yeah, 40 ago 40 years something ago women's uh, women yeah they mm-hmm. were they were gorgeous you know gorgeous. what i mean gorgeous yeah like, like bubble yeah and mm-hmm. you see you see the uh the the posters the movie posters of like the the movie stars at that time mm-hmm. and they're just so beautiful mm-hmm. and now everything's like cute or plain or i don't know like mixed thing the kanji yeah i don't know mm-hmm. it's just but like how you weren't born in 1970s. No, 83. So when you see this kind of stuff, do you <laughs> what do you think? It's what do I think? Well, how was how old was your father in 1975ish? Like, 30 something. So he's like our age. Yeah. And then you know, even you know, in Tenmonkan, you know, stuff like this was, you know, happening. Here in Kagoshima, Here Temonkan. Here in Kagoshima, cabaret. You know, there is a you know band and you know many dancers at you know in the dancing club. What do you think about these rockabilly guys here? Ah, can, can I just ]ですね? tell you, I love Japanese rockabilly culture. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I think it's so rockabilly culture. It's, it's so it's interesting. It's all from the United States, isn't it? That one's from the United States. It yeah. reminds me of the movie of Greece. Do you know what yeah, that yeah, yeah. is? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that a lot of these people got inspired by the movie Greece. Uh-huh. Oh, what, John Travolta. John Travolta. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. I don't know if I've ever seen that movie, but yeah, I know of that movie. Yeah, that's one of my favorite movies. Wow. What? That's David Bowie. David Bowie. The sake commercial, I think. Yeah. The time changes, rock also changes. Ah, sake commercial. Hey. David Bowie on a... Is, is he a guitarist? He was a singer, singer who passed away a couple years ago. Oh. Yeah, wow. That's crazy. Yeah. I don't know why, but... That's true that, you know, Japanese women stop being really women. Do you? Yeah. They got, uh, they got more like simple. You know simple, what I mean? Yeah, they yeah. don't, they don't do like hade hade, like gaudy things anymore. Mm, so that, yeah. Hey, wait, wait. Now look at that picture. You got a couple who are like right. laying down right. together and like kissing. <laughs> do you you that could ne? not do Kiss that. that you could not do that in today's uh, Tokyo. Maybe, maybe, maybe but you'd be yeah. weird. But I think the, the I think the time of the garu is over. Uh, and then it's you know happening again there actually. Really? Yeah, in Shibuya area. It's coming back. It's coming back. I don't know. There there is a izakaya called uh Hanbe, ne? Hanbe, uh, and it's all show up period. It's uh, a it's a, a what you call it, a chain ten, but uh, it's chain. Uh. But it's really cool. I like it. Mm. The food is okay, but the it's a uh, it's a really interesting like you know, atmosphere. Like atmosphere. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. I, lo- I like Showa Japan. I also like God- Showa Godzilla movies. Mm. I think are my favorite Japanese movies. Have you ever seen the Godzilla attack to Kagoshima? I have. <laughs> That's funny. We, we yeah. should link that in the uh, comments uh, below because so then, Godzilla yeah. came to Kagoshima, uh, Kinko Bay, uh, and it's so funny because he's suddenly from Kinko Bay, he goes to Tamonkan, and then in one second he's in Kumamoto. And uh, then one step and then go to Kumamoto. Uh, it's like how did he get to Kumamoto? <laughs> It's so because far he away. has long legs. No, right? <laughs> it's because like yeah, I don't know, but yeah, he did come to Kagoshima. So 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 so, and then you know people escape from Yamakataya. Yamakataya in the, in the movie, and you know people escape and from. And that, that yeah, time is also yeah. like during the Showa period, so everybody's dressed like the Showa time. I think. Ah, uh, there, there. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna yeah, have to you, link that in the comments you, section below. You should below. watch that. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, that's been Show and Tell Japan. Uh, for a link to the uh, to the homepage where you can actually uh, buy these photos, we will put that link in the comment section below. Uh, you should check it out. It's actually got a lot of cool stuff. The photographer is a really cool photographer. Uh, check it out. And thank you to Greg, the photographer, for allowing us to use his photos in today's podcast. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And now it's time for Natsuki Teaches Mitch. Uh, in this corner, uh, Natsuki, you teach me something about Japanese culture, history, whatever. Okay. Because, you know, I've lived here for 12 years, but I'm always learning. So uh, today, what do you got for me? Chicken sashimi. You're going to teach me. Okay, first of all, sashimi is raw fish. Mm -hmm. But tori sashimi is chicken sashimi. So, so, so. It's got to be very fresh. Now, now let's start off by talking about this. In I, There was, a, a, I think, a Facebook video mm -hmm. that tried to uh, introduce uh, chicken sashimi to the world. Oh, really? And it got a lot of negative comments. Because ah, I think most foreign people's image uh -huh. of chicken uh -huh. is that it's a dangerous meat. So then, and, like a bacteria right, and uh -huh. you shouldn't eat it while raw. But... Uh -huh. Kagoshima and uh, maybe Miyazaki too. Chicken sashimi is so good because it's so fresh. Probably you know they ki kill it. You think no? They you know kill is fine. Okay, they I... kill chicken in the morning and then you know become sashimi and then that serve day, same, yeah, day. That same day. So chouishi. Chouishi. What is mm. that in English? Very tasty. <laughs> Super tasty. Mm. So and, yeah, it tastes like you know and it's. Uh, some people say it tastes like just show you, and you know, and then you know, the show thing. you the soy sauce, soy sauce. Yeah. But you know, we see you know, and eat good with shochu. I, I have to point out that when I first came to Kagoshima, mm -hmm. they told us about the chicken sashimi, mm -hmm. and I, I think my first reaction was like. Ugh. Like, yeah, ah, yeah, 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 like this is no way, no way. But chicken heart, ano, chicken heart, I've eaten before. Shinzo, Shinzo, no sashimi. The chicken heart sashimi, uh, uh. never. It's so delicious, it's gooey, gooey. Yeah, yeah, but she's turning more and more into Japanese <laughs> as she's like talking about food. <laughs> but uh, I think the most people's reaction to like that that kind of food is just like they're like that's gross. But mm -hmm. when I tried it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't bad. Now, now, I gotta warn you that, like, you know, with any raw food, mm -hmm. this is raw fish, raw chicken, doesn't matter what. Uh, it's gotta be very fresh. It's gotta be very fresh, and there's always some risk. Mm, so that's right. There's always, there's, yeah, there's, mm. there's, there's, it depends on the person, mm. but there's always some risk. But for the most part, I think it's very safe, and, I, and I, a lot of people eat it, and they don't get sick. Hey, is there any, like, low food in America? Like, low oyster? Toka? So what do you guys eat? So, low things. So I'm not sure about raw oysters because I'm not from a, a coastal area. I'm from a desert. So uh -huh. we don't have like fresh oysters in Vegas. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, now that Japanese food is becoming more of a thing in America, so there is uh -huh. lots of sushi places. Mm -hmm. And there's also, like, you can get all-you-can-eat sushi. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm. So it's like they can get, it's like, you know... But American sushi is a little different. Like salmon, toka. Salmon, and they, oh, also we have like California, a ca roll. California roll. Have you ever had a California roll? I have, I have. Like avoca avocado and shrimps. Yeah. And then you can even see that, you know, seaweed is inside, right? Yeah, 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 uh -huh. yeah. So when I was in California, I, you know, had a seaweed senbei, rice cracker, sent yeah. by my mom, and I gave it to my friends. But, you know, people thought, you know, seaweed is very weird, so they just ripped it out. They ripped it off. They ripped it off and then eat it. Mm -hmm. Seaweed is still, you know... Yeah, but I think it's changing these days. I mean, mm. before, I think that uh, sushi wasn't so popular around the world, but mm. now it's getting more and more popular, so right. I think it's changing. Right, mm. I do. And then chicken sashimi is... But, uh, you know, maybe, you know, even in Japan, some people don't like eating, you know, tori sa chicken sashimi, mm, tori sashi, mm, 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 because, you know, it's kind of like our custom. Like, in Kagoshima, yeah, yeah, South Kyushu custom. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that most people... 
who travel these days want to go and experience that culture. Mm -hmm. So uh, you guys at home, if you are, if you have never come to Kagoshima and you're interested in, in trying uh, the the chicken sashimi, I totally recommend that you yeah. try it. Remember, it's, it's got to be very fresh. Yeah, because, well, the places, the restaurants that serve it only serve really fresh stuff. Right. So you right. don't have to worry about it. It's, it's no. safe. Mm -hmm. But it is a very unique experience and it is something to totally put on like Instagram or Facebook mm. and then people will say, wow, you mm. are very brave. I mean, it's, it's a, uh, it's a very it's a good it's good it sounds like you don't like it <laughs> so for me like i didn't grow up with it like you guys uh, yeah. so like i don't have that same love for it uh -huh. but i can totally eat it it's no uh -uh -uh -uh. problem so ne. but for me i just like but uh, how about kumamoto they have the uh, raw, raw horse mm. that's interesting too that tastes like steak kind of mm, so uh -huh. lots of interesting food in japan you guys should check it out check it out all right, that, that's been Natsuki Teaches Mitch. Thanks, Natsuki. You're welcome. Can't wait to see next week's topic. I will. <laughs> you will do something. <laughs> All right, guys. Next up, we're back with Alex and Secrets of Sengai Inn. This corner is where Alex, who works at Sengai Inn, the beautiful gardens here in Kagoshima, mm. he teaches us something that most people don't know about Sengai Inn. So let's go to the video. Hello, Alex here again with yet another secret of Sengayen. Today we're at the Konan Bamboo Grove here at Sengayen. Uh, and as you can see, there's a lot of Moso Chiku, this very thick kind of bamboo here. This was originally imported from China uh, oh. through the Ryukyuan Islands into Japan in the 1700s and planted right here at Sengayen. So if you see any other bamboo like this around it's Japan, it's China. very likely it came from well, this bamboo grove right here. Oh, Make sure to visit bamboo. next time you're at Sengayen. Thanks and see you next time. Yeah, but it, I didn't know that it's come from, you know, directly from China. 700 years ago that he it, says? It's, nine, it's 1700, so that's like 300 something years ago. Oh, okay. 300 something years ago. You know what? Every time Alex gives us one of these videos and he teaches something about singing, and I swear to God, it's just like it. I learn so much. Right. Mm -hmm. I've been to that bamboo garden in Sengayen, and I did not know that that is the first place where bamboo came to Japan. I can't think of where in Sengayen has a lot of bamboos. I have to, you know, find out next time I go there. Yeah, it's there's a specific uh, bamboo like garden area mm -hmm. that's just really cool. Um, mm -hmm. you, like. It's really nice to go there because, especially with the leaves on the top and mm -hmm. the sunlight, it just kind of comes in through ah. these little rays. It's just kind of magical. It's ah. a really peaceful place. I really recommend anybody go check it out. If you, you know, take our picture of, you know, sunlight things, it, you know, magical picture can. Magical picture uh, and you can Instagram. put it on Insta Instagram. <laughs> yeah, Instagram that picture. Insta by ne. There's actually a lot of spots all, all throughout uh, Sengayen that are considered Instagram like photo spots. Mm. And there's a lot of like places, for example, where they they filmed uh, uh, Atsuhime and Segodon, the uh, NHK right, dramas right, right. about historical figures. Uh, so is there just a lot of really interesting things at Sengayen? I actually once went to Sengayen with, you know, I wear kimono. Yeah. And then, you know, there are many, you know, photo stuff that, you know, it matched with kimono. Really? Yeah, so it's fun. Uh, we are now in the summertime, so why don't you wear yukata and go to Sengayen That's and then perfect. take a picture, take hey, pictures. When is Tanabata? Uh, July 7th, but in Kagoshima, it's actually August 7th. Ah, so then One in month August, later. Uh, so then, uh, you know, this summer, if you go in, you can go like uh, in Yukata yeah. and then maybe do something with Tanabata. That'd be really cool. Mm, that would be really cool. And mm. then, you know, you, those bamboo area, yeah. uh, you can take a lot of fantastic pictures, I guess. Speaking of summer, from July 1st to July 15th, they have the Jap Japan's Meiji Industrial Revolution Stamp Rally event. Hey. Japan was the only country outside of, uh, outside of Asia to recreate the success of Britain and industrialize independently. Mm -hmm. In celebration of this fact, Sengayen and the Shoko Shuseikan Museum were named part of the UNESCO World Cor C Cultural Heritage Site, Sites of Japan's Meiji Industrial Revolution, Iron and Steel, Shipbuilding and Coal Mining in mm. 2015. That is mm. a long title. Mm. This stamp rally celebrates all of the sites included in the World Heritage Inscription. So make sure to come along to Sengayen and see if you can find them all.
That sounds like cool. You know, you can you know learn about you know those error and then you can correct stamps. Yeah,、mm. I mean it's really cool. And also like there there are lots of like stamp collection things around you know in Japan. But、mm -hmm. I think Sangaian is one of those really unique places that you really want to go and like fill out your stamps and stuff.、Mm. And especially on from July first to July fifteen because they have this event. You、mm. guys should go check it out. Yeah, check it out. Thank you so much, Alex. Alex will be、uh, back next week with another secret of Sangaian. So I I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that too. All right, thank you. All right, guys, that's been this week's podcast. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button and consider subscribing to us、uh, for future shows so you never miss it. We will be uploading a show every week, probably on Tuesday. So please continue to check us out. Mite <laughs> kudasai. <laughs> Natsuki,、uh, let me just ask you really quick.、Uh, so these podcasts, we keep doing them. Has anybody talked to you about them? Have you got any responses yet? Not yet. <laughs> does your does your husband watch? Ah,、uh, my husband watches. My friends watch too. And do they say anything? Yeah, they say like "yurui ne" って言ってた <laughs> "yurui." How do you say "yurui" in English? You're loose. You're loose. You're yeah, yeah. relax, kana. Relax and loose, and so, I mean,、so. I think that it should be casual. You be casual. I mean,、mm -hmm. we don't want to be too formal.、Mm -hmm. You know, like if you're like a if you're like a Japanese newscaster, like "hello, welcome."、Uh, that's, to, not you know, that's not our style. That's not our style. We yeah, our style is much more like. To the humpa. How do you say it? Like <laughs> half-assed, <laughs> half-assed. <laughs> yeah. So the wrong word. Well, it's not. It's not. It's okay. It's okay.、Mm -hmm. It's okay. Don't tell your boss that. Okay. Don't、okay. tell your boss that. You know, I always, I always, because you know, I used to teach English. Now I, I operate a school. I don't teach directly anymore.、Mm -hmm. But I always wonder, like, should I teach students like bad words? Because if you don't know the bad words and somebody uses them, you won't know what they're saying. So I always think I'm, you know. Torn. Do I teach them? Do I not teach them? I think you should teach them. I mean, if the student want to you to teach about、Man? them,、mm -hmm. what do you think? So I want to know the bad words too because it's so easy to understand because I'm so curious about it. Only me. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I think I think a lot of you、mm -hmm. so, guys. If you guys are at home, if you want to know how to use, don't go too bad. But if you want to、mm -hmm. use like some slang or something like that, you know, if you, you want to know how to use it or something、mm -hmm. like that, hit us up in the comments below. Right. Or you can tweet us at、uh, at Kago Talk, or you can hit us up on our Facebook page, Small Talk Kagoshima. If you search for us on Facebook, you can、uh, comment and send us messages that way. Yeah, knowing about bad words and using of、uh, using bad words is different.、Now. Yeah, just、uh, understanding what it means,、yeah. I think, is enough. So, so, so because you know, if we, you know, I don't know, we don't want to be in trouble using bad words. So, 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 knowing is good. Yeah, knowing is good. Is don't use. Really, yeah, really good. That's actually pretty good advice there.、Mm -hmm. well, good. All right, guys, that's been our show today. Thank you very much, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye bye. Hey everyone, Josh here. Thanks for watching episode five of Small Talk Kagoshima. Small Talk Kagoshima is recorded in Kagoshima at Story Studios. This podcast stars Michi and Natsuki. The audio mixing is done by Hayato, and is produced by me, Josh, and is executive produced by Michi. This podcast was made possible in part by Infinity, New FM Kagoshima. Sangaien and Harada Gakuen. A special thank you to everyone who submitted questions and videos. You can submit your questions and videos to our Twitter at Kago Talk or our Facebook page for a chance to be featured in a future video. Thanks again and see you next week.